Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the channel today. In today's video will be the review of Leeds United vs Manchester City played yes, uh, last night, kicking off at 5.30pm. And yeah, I will get onto my rant, as the title says, after I've summarised the match like I always do. Disappointing again for Manchester City, from us, uh, not good at all. I'll just get into the match now like I usually do. Uh, we play a solid team, it was actually nearly the whole team I predicted in my preview. It was only Ferran Torres who played instead of Mahrez. It was a sort of than that, I got the whole team right. It was a strong lineup. It should have been enough to win, no excuses. Edison and goal, Carl Walker and Mendy of full-backs, which I predicted. Ruben Diaz made his debut partner in Islet, Merrick Laporte, and you look at our centre-back partnership, which did look all right. A midfield of Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Ford are our strongest midfield, in my opinion. And a front three of Raheem Sterling playing as a striker, Ferran Torres and... Um, God, who's the other one? Oh, sorry, guys, I've switched off. Um, Fran Torres and... I've completely froze, guys. Um, oh, who was he ever play? Sorry, it was Mares, my bad. It was Bernardo Silva who I predicted, yeah. So it was uh, Fran Torres instead of Bernardo Silva, but it was Mares on either win. Um, shows how annoyed I am. I can't even think about the match last night. But yeah, we're going to get into the game now. The match kicks off. Kevin De Bruyne, a free kick from 35 yards out. The keeper, I can't say his name for Leeds, Messiah or something like that. He's a good keeper, but um, was stood way off his line. De Bruyne caught him off track, hit the post from about 30 yards out. Good free kick. Now, the Leeds keeper was doing this all match and we didn't, expo we didn't exploit it. He was A number of times he was stood off his line. I was like, why don't you shoot? He stood off his line, but we didn't do it. Anyway, we, we were, were the better team. We start off promising. Ferran Torres has a shot which was well blocked off the line by Liam Cooper for Leeds United. It's a brilliant block off the line. And then that big woman does come, Raheem Sterling, shimmies it past the defender, a lovely, lovely finish on his right foot and curls it into the bottom low corner. It's a great finish, it puts us one nil up and we were the better team then, so we did deserve our lead. But that's, after that, Leeds start to come alive and they are the more dominant team and, you know, it forced Edison into a good save, um, you know, and their first half ends and we dominate the first half, but second half, they're coming out a lot better. They're having the most chances. Rodrigo smashes the crossbar and then the big moment does come um, and this is one I can't get my head around. This is one I will be talking about after my match summarisation. My match, you know, like I normally do. The ball gets whipped in the box. Edison in no man's land decides to punch thin air. Goes nowhere near the ball. And then somehow punches it back to a Leeds player. Ridiculously, totally misses the ball. And it's an easy, easy tapping. And it's absolutely outrageous. And I just can't believe what I'm actually seeing. Um, easy tapping for Leeds and, you know, it's a complete joke. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. It, it's you know, and it's an easy equaliser. And I'm, I will talk about this goalkeeper after my review. I can't even remember who scored the goal for Leeds. But what I know was is that it was an absolutely ridiculous goal to concede, and it was shocking. And they were the better team from them ones. He does kind of redeem himself after making a good save. He pushes Rodrigo's header onto the crossbar, but for me, it's not good enough. People going on about how much of a good save it is. He should have had the first one. I don't care. You know, he has to save them. It was an easy save anyway for me. Could have caught it, but yeah, he pushed. Palms it on the crossbar. And we push for that winner, but we can't get it. If any team looked like getting it, it was Leeds. Another poor performance from Manchester City from us. Not good enough. I'm going to get onto my rant now. There's so many wrong things I saw yesterday and I want to get into it. I'm going to start with this goalkeeper because for me, this goalkeeper, this goalkeeper is, is not good enough right now. You know, um, I'm sick of this goalkeeper. It's simple as that. I'm having like a Roy Keane-esque rant here like he did about the hair when I'm doing it about Edison. I am sick of this goalkeeper now. He's getting away with it for me. People saying, oh, well, he won the Golden Glove last season. I don't care. These mistakes have been going on now since he got lobbed by Che Adams last season from about 40 yards out because he was stood off his line looking at the, at the moon. You know, I'm sick of it. Yesterday, he should have had that corner. He didn't. He was punching thin air. He got nowhere near it. A keeper of his quality and experience should be getting that all day long. I'm sick of this goalkeeper. I'm sick of it. It's becoming too constant now. He let in five stupid goals against Leicester last week. He was making mistakes at the end of last season. He made daft mistakes against Leon in the Champions League. And it started since he got lobbed from Che Adams. And I am absolutely sick of it. I'm sick of this goalkeeper. I'm sick of it. And I want him to get dropped. And I'm, I'm being serious when I say that. I think he needs to learn a lesson and get dropped for the next game. Just because he's a big name or blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear that nonsense. Zach Steffen played against Burnley the other night. And I thought he was brilliant. And for me, he deserves a chance. I put him in goal next match and drop Edison. Yes, I might be being harsh to you for you lot, but for me, no, nah, I've had enough. He's making too many mistakes now. I feel like I'm watching another David De Gea. He was good in his first few seasons. The 2017-18 season, his first season, he was brilliant. But I'm sorry, it started last season. I, I just don't think he's been good enough. He was good his first few seasons, but he's dropped off. 
and I can't believe I was sat here maybe a few months back seeing he was probably better than Alisson. I feel like a right idiot now because he's, he's overrated. He's the most overrated goalkeeper in the Premier League for me right now. I always get behind our players, but I'm sick of this goalkeeper. I'm sick of him. And I don't want to hear, oh, he won the Golden Glove last season. Nonsense. And these mistakes have been going on since he got loved by Trey Adams last season. They've been going on bumps now. You're letting five daft goals against Leicester and you put in another shocking performance yesterday. He should have had that cross. He should have been punching for there. He should have been looking at the flipping clouds. Oh, what's he going to say? The rain was in his eyes. I'm not having it. It's not good enough. A keeper of his quality and experience should be taking that corner all day long. Not punching it back to a Leeds place to score an open goal. It is not good enough. I'm sick of this goalkeeper I am. He needs to be dropped for me. I've tried to defend him as well, but I'm sick of it now. It's another David De Gea. I'm telling you now, he's overrated and I'm sick of it. I feel like I do feel like he's going to turn into another De Gea because he's making too many mistakes and I'm sick of it. He was good the first few seasons in England, but he has dipped lately. And I'm not defending what I'm saying. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to regret what I'm saying, sorry, because I mean it. I'm sick of him. Some City fans think I might be being harsh, but it's just the way I feel. I, I think he's been shocking lately. I've said it for a while now, and yesterday just made me even more angry with what I saw. He should have had that cross all day long. Other things I want to talk about for Ran Torres laughing after the match with Rodrigo. At the end of the day, we've played three games this season now. We've won one, we've drew one, and we got beat 5 2 and 1. We have played Wolves, Leeds, Leicester. Now, say I'm arrogant here, I don't care. We should have had nine points from that. A club of his standards and quality should have got nine points from that. We have only got four points. If Liverpool beat Aston Villa tonight, we are already five points behind Liverpool. And people think it's acceptable to laugh who play for this club. I'm not having it. It's not good enough. A club of this quality and standards should be winning them games. Should not be laughing after we draw against newly promoted Leeds United. I'm sorry, yes, I know they're a good team, but they are a newly promoted side. We had a good enough team last night to beat them and we didn't. I said we had to win last night. I said it was a massive that we won and we didn't win. We dropped daft points again. We should have won, but we didn't. And now we're so far behind already. For me, it's already over. You can forget the title this season. Yes, I know I might, you know, he's been daft as three games. But nah, if Liverpool win tonight, it's over, which they will. I'm, I'm just sick of it. I'm so sick of this club right now. And then Guardiola laughing in his press conference after the match, smiling. Why are you laughing and smiling? Show that you care. I can't believe what I'm seeing at this club. Like I said in my, in my, my Leicester review, Rad, if he's, if, if he's feel like he's done at the club, he should have left in the summer. If he's feel like he can do all he can do now, he should have gone. I've always defended him. I've always stood by him, but I'm, my patience is running thin now. If I, see, if I see him laughing in his press conferences after a game he should have won, I'm sorry, I'm not accepting it. I just want to see more people care at this club right now because I don't feel like I'm seeing it laughing and joking. Oh, it's only three games of the season in. We've dropped daft points already. Liverpool are going to run away with this league again and I'm sick of it. I am absolutely sick of it. But yeah, laughing in this press conference was just ridiculous. And we, uh, for me, we're already far behind. I, do, I don't see us catching up now. Like I said, I don't think we even have the quality to as well, to be honest. We left that Ruben Diaz side in too late. But we're going in for a left back now, which is absolutely ridiculous. Why didn't we get that wrapped up weeks ago? I'm not having it, guys. We should, like I said, we should have had that messy deal done. There's just so much wrong at this club for me right now. You might be calling me arrogant because we've won a lot, a lot of trophies in the last few years, but at the end of the day, I want to win trophies this season as well. And I think the standards at this club right now are not being set. We're falling below them. It's not good enough. This club should be based on winning trophies, winning games like against Leeds, no disrespect to Leeds. They're a newly promoted side. We should have won that game last night and we didn't. It was daft, stupid mistakes, which cost us again. And this goalkeeper, I mean, I'm sick of him. I'm absolutely sick of him. It's mistake after mistake now, and I'm sick of it. He let in five daft goals against Leicester last week and a stupid goal yesterday. Punching thin air, absolutely ridiculous. Looking at the stars in the sky. Oh, it was the rain in my eyes. Oh, what a joke. I feel like it is another David De Gea with him, though, because I get Zach Steffen in goal, like I said. I thought he was brilliant the other night. I want to see him in goal. I don't care, you might say I'm being harsh, you know, he's been good over the past few seasons. Well, no, these mistakes have been going on a while now. It started when he got lobbed by Che Adams against Southampton last season. He was awful against Leon in that Champions League match. It was his mistakes that cost us then. I think he cost us last week massively. There were some of them goals he should have had in that 5-2 defeat. And that mistake yesterday was just ridiculous. I'm sorry, a keeper of his quality should not be letting that in. It's ridiculous, guys. Anyway, that's my rant, really. We move on, don't we? But I think we're too far behind already. We should just go and try and win the Champions League this season. That's if we even have the quality to do that. Because ah, for me, the league's over now. You might think I'm over-exaggerating, but nah, I think it's over. There's no way we're stopping Liverpool now. 
not if they win tonight. There's no way. They're a much better team anyway. We just need to sit here now and accept that we're nowhere near as good as them at the moment because we're not. We're absolutely nowhere near as good as them. It's just, it's just the truth, guys. We're not, you know what I mean? You, you know, I'm not going to sit here and defend us. I, I, I always defend this team. I always get by them, but there's so many wrong things I'm seeing at the moment and I'm sick of it. It's, it's, you know, it's upsetting me what I'm seeing. But anyway, we move on. Come on, City. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later as always and take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.